My name's Toby Bill Henderson. But you can call me the Grumbler. Mi sa che non mi incazza, eh? Io cane! E non si riesce a capire un cazzo! Dio porco! Porco Dio! Dio porco, se venite avanti ancora vi do un pugno! Porco Dio! Porco Dio! Ma chi è che fa che cazzo di rumore lì? Dio... Chi è che continua ad andare avanti in trio Dio Canca anche l'aperta lì? Domenica, vieni in alto cara, eh, ti vuoi fare in stato di corte? I gotta disagree, you know? You need skill, creativity. You need everything to be an oatmeal eater. You know, I wouldn't call myself a professional. I'm pretty up there in the ranks. This right here is my coach, Big Ray Johnson. You know, I love him to death. Taught me anything, everything I know. This is damn man, Toby. It was clear. He had the potential. He had the passion. He had everything you need to be successful in this sport. Oatmeal eating. It's my dream since I was a little boy to be a champion, but that never happened. So to be part of this, it's just... It's a big deal to me. And, uh... I think he proved himself this year winning five medals. Five in a row. Uh, I'm really proud of the kid. Oh, look at this. This is just all from this year, you know? It's, it's just something that makes me who I am. You know? This right here. This is my baby. This will make me win right here. You know? Many tricks are involved. But this is the real trick right here. A great spoon that makes you win. Her name's Betsy. I love her so much. You gotta get that blood pumping in them wrists, you know? You gotta spin the spoon, spin the spoon. You know, you don't wanna, you don't wanna pull anything when you're doing this, you know. You gotta move it around like that, move it around. You know, uh, I've never had an injury. I'm count myself lucky. You know, I've seen many greats go down in the great competition, and uh, you know, warm up is crucial. Warm up is crucial. I always say that. Warm up is crucial. You know, a guy doesn't warm up, I go up to him. Warm up is crucial. You gotta, it's crucial. This sport, you know. It's like any sport where people don't, people don't warm up, you get injured, you know. Warm up is crucial. This sport ain't like any other sport, you know. You gotta have the power to eat the oatmeal. You gotta have strength. You gotta have creativity. It's not just about speed, ladies and gentlemen. It's about creativity. You get skill points. You get trick, trick points. You know, there's judges. You know, I've won the Tennessee Derby five days in a row. It's a five day event. I've won it all. You gotta have drive. You have to have commitment. This ain't no tea party. No, it's game day today. Tennessee Championships 20. Yeah, it's the biggest event in the United States of America. From me, it? Winning those to internationals in Philadelphia. No, I think Toby's got it in him. He's got the, he's got the drive. And, uh, competition fierce, though. To start off, you got Jimmy Rainbow Billy. He's definitely up there in the ranks. He's been in the circuit for a while. He's got some skill. He's got some serious skill. Next, you got Teal. Teal, it's the dark horse of the race. You know, you won't expect him, but he's, he's going to be up there. I, I know it. Number one seed in the tournament. He's been there for five years straight. You know what, Jim? We're going to international this year. We're going. So the game starts off. You got a bowl of oatmeal. 20,000 people looking at you. Maybe more. You just got to eat that oatmeal. Maybe put in a trick or two, I don't know. Whatever makes you win, you win. You know, the point system goes for speed, 
but the real points come from skill, ability, and creativity. Those tricks will make you win. You know, before every major event, I take some time to go in and uh, give a little pray for my uncle, my uncle Johnny, you know. He's always there for me. He's the only oatmeal eater in my family. You know, in, in 09 we lost him. Tragic avalanche in Chippewa. You know, it was such a sad incident, so I just, I walk, I go walk in the snow every December before the event. Just uh, to pray, pay tribute to my Uncle Johnny. On your mark, get set, go! You know, I just don't understand. Jimmy, he didn't bring his A game, you know. I don't know if it's because he bought some new prescriptions or something, but he just didn't bring it. He was way better at nationals, you know. He he almost beat me there. But uh I don't know. Things just fell apart for Jimmy. I hope the best of luck for him for next year, you know. His coach is pretty mad at him. I don't know what's gonna happen there, but I love you, Jimmy. I love it, man. You know, I always knew that Teal, Teal was just that tough guy that you never liked, you know. He, he never stretched. You remember when I said stretching is crucial? It's crucial. Stretching is crucial. And guess what? He never stretched. And look what happened to him, you know. He had to get his arm amputated. Things happen, you know. It's, it's a vicious sport, but if you come ready, you'll do just fine. You'll, you'll do just fine. You know, Jim Jackson. He pulled that uh, triple sow cow 180 reverse with the two under flips, and you know, he just he he was he came there to compete. He came here to compete, and you know what? He brought it. He made he he made that move, and it was only done once before by the great Albert Dorito. And you know, I love you, Albert. By the way, rest in peace. Um, you know, he he did it, and. That that had me a little scared, you know. But just pulled it right out of my ass, and look what what I'm doing now. I'm the cover of Men's Health, baby. You know, uh, Toby's probably one of my 
my best students ever. Makes me so proud. So proud that I helped create this. I, I'm so pleased with how it did. I'm sorry for being emotional, but just he, he did what I couldn't do. And for that, for that, I'm so proud of him. I look forward to future years with him. He's got a bright future ahead of him. We might make internationals two years in a row. Who knows? But, like I said, seven times. I'm so proud of Toby. My name's Toby Bill Henderson. But you can call me the Grumbler.